Cicada season in full flight, but we've heard a lot of people saying they haven't seen or heard a single one. I haven't. <laughs> really? So Brona <laughs> did some digging mm. to find out what the buzz is all about. I wish I hadn't. It's a unique sound heard every 17 years. A certain cicada is back, and whether you want to drink them, dress up like them, or you can't stand the sight of them, They've certainly got Illinois buzzing. They've been spotted everywhere from Geneva to Grant Park, Lake Forest to Manhattan. Yes, we have our own little apple. In fact, they've been spotted all over the state. But there are still some people who say they haven't heard a single one. So instead of just winging it, we've turned to an expert for answers. Oh, I, I love bugs. I've always, like I said, I've always loved bugs since I was eight and actually before that. Jim Louderman uh, from the Field Museum is big on bugs. Turns out if you're not hearing these critters in Chicago, the problem is people because we've chopped down their homes to make way for ours. If you're making a subdivision and you cut down all the trees in a two square mile area, Cicadas don't disperse very far. When you cut down the tree that the cicada is living on as a nymph underground, they die. And they also move slower than the Kennedy in construction season. Far from the only fun fact Jim taught us. He says only the males make all that racket, which as a woman was hardly surprising. But when they do surface, it's only to do the deed, lay some eggs, and during their very brief life... So they only live five to ten days as adults. They can even catch an STD. It makes the cicadas hypersexually active. But this is a family show, so let's move on. Their eggs then fall back into the soil, and when hatched, they're half a millimetre in size for about 16 years, munching on tree roots, before the whole cycle starts again. And they're very keen on their punctuality. The first day of emergence has been uh, May 9th or 10th. Every year, it's the same. After watching Jim hold them, I was feeling courageous. He's not going to go anywhere, is he? No. That wasn't true, so the bravery had to be summoned a second time. These are the guys Jim is talking about, but what makes this year so special is these are emerging with something else. This year is a little different because of the dual emergence, where there are the 13-year and the 17-year cicadas both emerging in Illinois on the same year. Which is something we'll all only see once in our lifetime. It's something that hasn't happened for 221 years. So for us, it really is Christmas. Brona Tumulty, WGN News.